What's up guys, it is a Fans of Seahawks fan back with another video. Today I'm giving you my official week 4 NFL predictions of the 2022-2023 NFL season. Uh, sorry I'm late on this, I just haven't been motivated to make the video because I've been busy all week. And I've just really not had much time. But I'm going to give it to you. Uh, I'm recording this Wednesday night. And I'm going to give it to you guys... Thursday, 12 p.m. Pacific time. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be starting off with Thursday's game, Bengals and the Dolphins. Said that backwards, but I don't care. Um, the Dolphins, they are 3-0. and and They escaped the Bills last week with some great clock management by the Bills. And um, don't know if Tua is playing. Bengals got their first win. Yeah, first win last week against the Almighty Jets. Uh, I am picking the Bengals actually to upset the Dolphins. I think that uh, without Tua playing, the Dolphins aren't going to be that good. But hopefully, for fantasy's sake, Tyree Kill can you know go off. That would be amazing. Give me a good start to the week. And. Uh, He's probably going to because the Bengals' defense isn't really that good. He's uh, facing Eli Apple again, and he, uh, he's ready for it, hopefully. Moving on to the first London game of the season, we got the Vikings and the Saints. The old good ri rivalry between these two. Um, Vikings because the Saints have been just not that good in the past few weeks. Jameis Winston's looked like 2019 Jameis Winston, uh, and they're not ruling him out with, like, a broken back or something. I don't know. It's just, like, ridiculous and stupid. But if Winston was healthy and was playing like a good quarterback, I'd probably pick the Saints, but the Vikings just, I think they have more talent on their team right now. Moving on to the Browns and the Falcons. The Browns beat the Steelers last week, and the Falcons beat my Seahawks last week. Uh, the Browns, they look they look great, uh, even without Watson playing. Yeah, they lost to the Jets a few weeks ago, but that's because Joe Flacco is just absolutely elite. I'm just kidding. Um, I think they're capable enough to beat the Falcons, though. The Falcons, yeah, they beat the Seahawks last week, but that was their first win of the year against our dookie defense. <sighs> Moving on to the Commies and the Cowgirls. The Cowboys look... Cooper Rush looks just good. He just looks so good. Um, that's why I'm picking them. And also because the Commies just... They suck. They looked god-awful last week. Against the Eagles. And uh, here's a little funny story about fantasy. So I had the Chargers defense starting over the Eagles defense. Chargers defense got me negative four points. All the Eagles on my bench got me like almost 30 points. And I ended up losing in my second league that I manage. So yeah, that's fun. Never starting the Chargers defense, especially because they're injury riddled now. It's not good for them. Uh, moving on to the Seahawks and the Lions. If the Lions had DeAndre Swift and uh, I, I don't know if On Monroe is playing. Same with Hawkinson, but if they were all healthy and playing, I would probably pick the Lions, but. I'm going to pick the Seahawks here because I think this is a game we absolutely have to win if we want any more confidence going forward in the season. Uh, our defense needs to tackle. They need to force a uh, punt once in a while. That would be great. We're really missing Jamal Adams right now. And our top three corners have been injured. But uh, Woolen did get his first interception last year week so that was great to see and uh our o-line has really been impressive this year you know that's weird when our uh, star quarterback leaves our offensive line just starts playing good 
It's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, I think we're going to win this one. If the Lions weren't injured, though, they would probably win. Uh, moving on to the Titans and the Colts. Both teams got their first win last week. And uh, Derrick Henry's, you know, finally, like, waking up. So I uh, picking him because he's on my fantasy team. And because, I don't know, this game is going to be most likely a boring one. But, uh, yeah. Moving on to the actual most boring game of the week is the Bears and the Giants. I got the Giants winning this because the Bears look absolutely dysfunctional. Justin Fields legitimately is not good. I'm sorry, Bears fans, but he looks terrible. You can blame whoever you want. At the end of the day, Justin Fields is the one to blame because his stats are dookie. Moving on to the Jags and the Eagles. This has the potential to be like the... Oh, I don't want to pick the Jags. This game has the potential to be the game of the week candidate. Both of these teams, Eagles, still undefeated. Jacksonville just beat the brakes off the Chargers and have looked mightily impressive this year. This could be a shootout. It could be a very close game all game. At the end, I think the Eagles are going to go to 4-0 and and be the lone undefeated team in the league. As for the Jags, this is going to be a not a bad loss for you guys. It's going to... You guys are going to absolutely fight hard this game. Please don't prove me wrong, because I've been proved a lot a wrong a lot this year. Moving on to the Jets and the Steelers. I you know Steelers. I don't know. Zach Wilson might be back this week, and uh, that could be good. Could be bad for the Jets. Depends on uh, if you want to make that argument. Personally, I don't care. I don't think Zach Wilson's good at all. He just, he's not good. I mean, Mick Trubisky hasn't been impressive either, but I think he looks better than Zach Wilson will probably ever look. Moving on to the possible game of the week. Could be a game of the week. We got the Bills and the Ravens. Um... Raven, uh, Lamar Jackson is, like, really trying to have the best stats he can, can, or the best stats he can to be able to get his uh, market value up, and uh, it is working really hard, but I think the Bills are going to squeak this one out just a little. I said they would beat the Dolphins last week, they ended up losing, like, only by two, though. And injuries have kicked in into full gear. And I don't know if any of them are coming back this week. So, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a great game, though. Two top ten quarterbacks going at it. I have been proven wrong badly so far from the Ravens. I, I uh, thought to myself that their offense was going to be absolutely dysfunctional because Marquise Brown isn't there. But, um, Bateman and Duvernay are, they're really, uh, gonna be a really underrated duo this year by the end of the year. They're gonna be overshadowed, most likely. Moving on to the Chargers and the Texans. Where do I start with the Chargers? They are the biggest frogs so far this year. Sure, you can blame injuries. They lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. If they lose to the Houston Texans this week, don't bother playing the rest of the season Texan or Chargers, I mean. Don't show your face anywhere. Just win a game. Moving on to the Cardinals and the Panthers. I got the Panthers. Wait, no. Cardinals. I got the Cardinals. Uh, Kyler Murray's going to just... Run all over the Panthers like he did against the Raiders, most likely. Baker Mayfield has just not looked impressive this year. As uh, many people thought he was going to have one of the best seasons because he has 
DJ Moore, he has Robbie Anderson, he has Christian McCaffrey, who surprisingly hasn't had his season ended yet. But I think Murray and Marquise Brown are gonna they're gonna they're gonna unleash this week. Which would be nice. Moving on to the Patriots and the Packers. Uh, the Patriots lost Mac Jones for an undisputed amount of time. Uh, it looked like he snapped his ankle, but from what I read, it was a high ankle sprain. That looked more, m much more than an ankle sprain. That looked like he broke something, but, you know, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. Um... But I don't think they're going to win. Uh, Romeo Dobbs for the Packers, he's getting his opportunity. When he's gotten his opportunity last week, he had a really good week last week. And uh, he's the reason, well, partially the reason I lost to my brother in fantasy football. So that's just great. <sighs> Moving on to the Broncos and the Raiders. This is going to be a lopsided game. Personally, I don't care. This is my I don't care pick of the week. Let's go with Broncos country. Raiders have looked just in, just not, not impressive. They have looked garbage. Absolutely garbage. They went out traded for the best receiver in the league last, from last year. And they they look worse with him. I haven't watched any Raiders games, so I don't know what's been going on, but... That's just kind of depressing. Moving on to Sunday Night Football, we got Super Bowl rematch of the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. Now, this game is supposed to be being played in Tampa, but Hurricane Ian is taking over Florida right now. So, what, what from what I've read, they're going to most likely be playing it in Minnesota, because since the Vikings are going to be in London playing. Uh, I hope everyone that's in Florida uh, is hopefully evacuating if you're in the zone of the hurricane. Uh, that is absolutely terrible. Um, I'm going to pick the Bucks though. I think uh, the receivers are coming back. So, or at least Mike Evans is coming back. I don't know about the rest. Uh, the Chiefs lost to the winless Colts last week. The same team that tied the Texans and got shut out by Jacksonville. Not, not that good, Chiefs. And moving on to Monday Night Football, we got an NFC West rivalry between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, the Rams always get owned by the Niners in the um, regular season. So... Does that make me want to pick them? No. Jimmy G looked garbage. Did, he's the first quarterback I have ever seen to score a safety and throw a pick six in one play. What kind of Dan, however you say that guy's last name, what kind of crap was that? God. Anyways, I think the Rams day in and day out. Even on their worst day, they're better than the Niners so far. I mean, that Sunday night game that the Niners and Broncos played last week. God, was that boring. That's got to be like the worst game I've watched this year so far. And I watched, uh, and I watched the Seahawks-Niners game. Trust me, that game sucked too. Anyways, that is the... End of my picks for the week. Sorry again that this is coming out a day late. Been busy and had no motivation when I was having my many free times that I've had. But like I said, my first prediction video, or my not my first prediction video, my first video on this channel that I was starting school, so I was not going to be able to uh, film videos the times I wanted to. Anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your week. I hope everyone that's in Florida right now is evacuated and safe. 
I, um, I've never experienced a hurricane, so, yeah, I don't know what it's like, um, I hope your teams do well, unless you're the Lions, sorry Lions, uh, I know you guys are too sensitive to hurt, but, uh, yeah, anyways, go Hawks, I'll see you in the next video.